Hello gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Wrench. On this episode, we are going to review the iCar Soft POR2 diagnostic tool for Porsches. So before we begin this, I need to qualify. I am by no means a professional service tech. I don't do this for a living. I do it for my garage. I do mostly air-cooled stuff. The OBD2 world is a little foreign to me. However, I picked up a 2010 Porsche Panamera 4S a few months ago that's had a number of different issues. And I wanna be able to diagnose them myself and fix them and do all the things. So I needed a solution for that. The forum people, the forumers mentioned iCarsoft as a potential source. So I picked this up from Amazon for 150 bucks. You are welcome to check it out yourself. I put a link in the description. This is how it comes. So um, here's what this thing does. At least this is what it says it does. The reason I got this is because on startup, I had a little issue with my Panamera the other day. It was a little rough and I got a check engine light. Um, I think it's probably the high pressure fuel pump or a coil, I don't know. So I got this thing specifically to check that out. However, when I started researching these, one of the really cool things about these devices is that they are able to clear oil change codes. So if you're a DIYer and you change your own oil and happen to have a Porsche, uh, this device will clear the oil change code. It will also clear airbag codes. So let me, let me read what this thing says it'll do. I don't know what some of this stuff does, because again, I'm not a professional mechanic, but here's what it says it does. Uh, well, it says it can do it all. So, POR2 can do it all. It reads and clears trouble codes on all the systems, such as engine transmission, ABS, and airbag. Uh, it reads the data stream, full ECU diagnosis. I imagine this is a translation from a different language. Applies to entire models of Porsches equipped with OBD2-16DLC. Easy to use with metal dome keys. I don't know what metal dome keys are. Oil light slash service reset, support service lamp reset, brake pad reset function. Uh, very useful if you are swapping your own brake pads. I've been in that situation as well. Um, again, a lot of times you can't go to you know, O'Reilly or AutoZone because their readers can't clear these codes. This apparently says it will, so that's a good thing. Um, steering angle, sensor calibration, brake pad reset function. I said that EBP opens and closes the brake pads, reads and clears. I think that's cool, so it'll test your calipers, I think. EBP slash SBT, uh, SBC trouble codes, I don't know what that is. Turns off the ECU and brake warning light. Diagnoses EBP slash SBC caliper functionality, resets the brake pad, thickness, service, etc. So pretty much everything to do with the brakes, it'll fix it. Um, ABS slash airbag, diagnosis, ABS, SRS system codes, reads and clears codes of your airbags, turns off the airbag light warning, uh, performs bi-directional tests, such as cycling the ABS solenoids, retrieves ABS information. I think probably a great idea if you have an older car to make sure that the, the uh, airbags are working correctly. So that is a thumbs up. And um, that's about it. Comes with apparently the main unit, user manual, main cable, PC connecting cable, TF card, nylon carry case, TF card reader. So one thing I will say that I, I don't love is that it looks like it still has a serial connection on it versus a USB connection. So Mac users are sort of left in the dark. Um, if you have boot camp or something on your Mac, I imagine it'll work. But here we go. Wow, first and foremost, really cool case. This is really nice. This is a really nice nylon case for this bad boy. So thank you, iCarsoft. This is here, good. We got manual and it is German. No, I'm kidding. Uh, it is all the above. It looks like it'll walk you through all the things. So that's cool. There's this, there's this. We've got a serial cable because it is still 1998. Now, so this is your OBD2 port reader. And then this obviously plugs into the POR2. And is that it? 
I do have a USB cable. Maybe for, um, I did hear that there are actually firmware updates for this. So this looks like it's a little hard drive. And I imagine you can update the firmware on your computer, download it to this little dongle and plug it in and see how it goes, you know? So this is it. It feels super solid. Get rid of that, which is that. And this is the device. It's a good size. It feels really beefy. I don't get their tagline. It says, ask no one, ask iCarsoft. I'm not sure if that's a translation thing or not. Anyway, trusted by DIYers of auto diagnosis over 60 countries around the globe. One thing I will say is I think from what I'm told that while this is Porsche specific and it will troubleshoot Porsche engine codes, um, it will also do other cars. But let me know in the comments if that's wrong because it's, I've been known to be wrong in my life. So to turn it on, what does one do? It looks like it's got a card in it. Oh, cool, okay. So it looks like it's got a little SD card in the bottom. So that must be whatever the current firmware or something is. So I do really like that they pay attention and want to um, make sure that it's upgradable. So that's cool. I think from what I read, it won't turn on. It's actually powered by your car. So why don't we move this thing into the Panamera and see if I can make it do a thing. Okay, I plugged it in and now I have a screen and I wanna apologize first and foremost for the lighting right now because I'm kind of in the shade, but I have a cover over my car because it's under a tree and it murders it. And um, yeah. I don't want to take it off. So my options here are diagnose, settings, and help. I'm just going to hit diagnose and see if I can start without knowing anything about anything. So there's a keypad that allows you to go up, down, left, right. Okay. And escape, which I imagine takes you out the other way. Uh, and then a, looks like a book. I'm not going to hit that yet. I'm going to hit okay for diagnose. I'm going to hit Porsche for Porsche. And I'm just going to hit Porsche Diagnose. Okay. And version 1130, checking files. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to ask me what car I have. So I'm going to say Panamera, which is the 970 automatic. And it's looking. Airbag, PSM, air conditioning. So it looks like there's 41 tests that it's running right now. I can't really show you this. So I'm gonna rerun this with the, the key on and see if that does anything. I'll let you know how that turns out. Okay, so now it says PSM in diagnosis. So that's good. It's just going to be cruising through this now. I'm getting weird air messages like electric parking brake and service mode. So apparently it's doing something. In the, on the radio here it says service. It did say service. Lane chain assist, passenger seat memory. So it's going through all the things. A lot faster. It's spelled reversing camera wrong. Trailer hitch, rear differential lock, trailer hitch, auxiliary heating. All right, headlights. So I guess I want DME, right? This is oil P1538 oil pump activation. That doesn't sound right. There we go. P1023 fuel pressure slash quantity too low at start. That sounds like a high pressure fuel pump, or at least the low pressure fuel pump. And then fuel high pressure sensor stuck at start. So I got a fuel pump issue. Okay. At least it's not a coil. That's what I know. And apparently I have an oil pump activation situation as well. Maybe it's related. It looks like as you go through, you can just choose, now that it's gone through this entire process, you can choose what you want to diagnose. And you can go through every I can go through all of the different systems on the car. Like I just did PSM and wanted to see what the codes are. There's no codes on that. 
So that's cool. I can look at Tiptronic and read the codes for that. No, no codes. Good. Transmission's in good shape. So uh, here's what I'll say is this is very intuitive. I don't, again, I don't know anything about this stuff and I just figured out that I needed, uh, I have a fuel pump issue, which some of the forum people told me I did. One other thing I, I thought to check is my passenger side door doesn't unlock when the key unlocks. And one of my options here are to look at the rear left door. Hit OK. Read DTCs. Central locking closing unit, implausible signal. So the unit might be fine, but it's not getting a signal. So that's pretty cool and pretty specific. I'm impressed. First impressions of the iCar Soft POR2 are fantastic. In five minutes, I figured out that I have a fuel pump, high pressure and low pressure issue. I will investigate that further to see if it is any sort of false reading and figured out what's wrong with my left passenger door, which is way deeper than I expected, something to be able to hit. If I took this car to even a local private shop, I mean, labor rates are 100 bucks to 125 bucks. This was $150. So I figure for 25 bucks or 50 bucks, I have a tool now in my arsenal that can diagnose every check engine light I have on my car in the future because it looks like they they future proof it so this to me is a strong buy it's a really good feeling unit like it feels like it's going to last a while and it's going to be you know impact proof and grease proof and things like that like it feels really durable I was maybe wrong this is a USB connection so I don't know if this will actually connect to my Mac but I'm going to read the directions, which apparently some people do with things, and find out if I can connect to my Mac for firmware updates. But super strong buy. If you decide to pick this unit up, which I think you should, if you own any sort of modern era Porsche with OBD2, it's an Amazon affiliate link, so I will get a couple of bucks out of the deal. I appreciate that. I also appreciate you guys giving this thing a thumbs up and a subscribe if you like the content. Be sure to check out some of my car builds or some of my tips and tricks for air-cooled 911s, and I'll see you next time.